Hello guys and welcome to yet another 39 Battalion training tutorial. Who said that gaming isn't good for maths? Well, in this one we will be doing a bit of basic maths while using the standard armor binoculars. Now, a lot of players would think that the binoculars is, is a simple tool merely for seeing into the distance and for this reason most players or missions use more modern laser range finders as it auto ranges and satisfies our modern nature for instant gratification. But what if you are fighting in a scenario based on World War II, Vietnam or the border war like our upcoming campaign? In those years, there were no rangefinders issued to soldiers. In reality, those soldiers had to rely on similar methods discussed in this very tutorial in order to measure distance for targeting, fire missions and navigation. So let us jump into it and learn how to use the basic binocular for calculating range. Firstly, any Molson armor player will tell you that you must always have a pen and paper handy to make notes. Well, technically you should include a calculator into the toolbox as well. Even though a lot of distance calculations can be eyeballed if you do it frequent enough, some situations might require more precise range measurements. Where a one shot one kill strategy is called for, being accurate to the nearest 50 meters just will not cut it. For this we need more accurate measurements when time allows us to make such calculations. So firstly, let's look at the binocular itself. The standard issue armor binocular has a reticle line with mill markings. Note that each number on the line represents 10 mils. So we will have 10 mils, 20 mils, 30 mils and so forth. The smaller lines in between will indicate intervals of 5 mils. So from the bottom it will be 5 mils, then 10 being a large line with number 1, and then 15 mils as a smaller line, etc. For accurate measurements, we need to subdivide the 5 mil intervals into single mil markings. For this, you will start using your imagination and place fictitious mil dots down. In your mind, it will look something like this. Now that we know the binocular has a mil dot capability, let's look at how to do measurements with them. A simple method, one of a few, is to work from a known size or a reference size. The average height of a grown man is 1.8 meters. This will be the standard used whether you are measuring distance to a soldier, a tank, a building or anything else. Let us start with the basic one first. Once you have your human target in sight, simply place the bottom of the binocular at his feet. Now, in your mind, divide the binocular mill markings into single mill dots. Find the mill dot closest to where the top of his head is. That is the number you will use. In this case, 9 mils. Now, here is the formula, and this is where you will grab your calculator and perhaps note ranges down on your paper. The formula is reference height divided by moles equals range. At this point I want to add that our reference height must be rounded off to thousands. So if you work with meter as your set unit you will first have to multiply it by a thousand. If using centimeter as your set unit you will have to multiply it with 100 first. The easiest way however is just to kick off with 1800 millimeters which is 1.8 meters for those wondering. 1800 should always be your reference number if you use this method. So don't overthink this part, just remember 1800. Okay, so back to math class. 1800 millimeters divided by our mole reading of nine will give us 200 meter range. Let's quickly cheat and use an actual laser range finder to see how far off we are. And there we go, on the right hand side 202 meters, understandably the laser rangefinder will always be more accurate than guesstimating mill dots, especially at great distances, but a 2 meter error is still workable. Let's quickly have a look at a target that is slightly further away and see what we get. Again, place your binocular at the base of his feet and add your fictitious mill dots and do the math. In this case, I am measuring around 5.5 moles, so the math is 1800 divided by 5.5 equals 327 meters. Let us quickly use the cheating tool and measure exact range. And there you have it, 325 meters actual, again only 2 meters out. 
Now, let us look at ranging a vehicle. As per our first example, we must use a known variable or size. Now, unless you are Wikipedia and know the height of every tank, helicopter, car, truck out there, you will need to find an alternative. If you are lucky and a tank crew so happens to stand right next to the tank, it is easy. Use method 1 as we have already looked at. But if there are no men around the tank, simply imagine what a man would look like standing right next to the tank. Here are a few examples of extreme inaccuracy when it comes to the size comparison of a Roy cut compared to a man. So, with our ghost man in mind, measuring an average of 1800 millimeters, we place the base of the binoculars on the bottom of the track or tire of the vehicle and determine what mill number would be around the top of the man's head. So let's do this in our practical exercise now. So with our binoculars we find our target vehicle, place the binocular line on the point where the vehicle meets the ground, then count up the mills to where you think a human head will end. That is then the mill you will use to calculate. Now simply do the math. 1800 divided by 8.5 equals 211 meters. Let's go back into our cheat mode and measure with an actual rangefinder. There we go, 213 meters, which means we still only have a 2 meter error in range, which is very acceptable for your AT specialist to get a direct hit on this tank. Now let's look at buildings. Firstly, don't worry about the actual size of the building. That is a completely different equation. All you need to do, as with the tank, is ask yourself how big is a man compared to this building. Easier yet, is to consider how big a man will be compared to a door on the building, or a window, or any other features that you are familiar with. So place your ghost man as if he was standing in the doorway. Then, considering he's 1.8 meters tall, Place your binoculars at the base of where his feet would be. Count your mill dots and run the formula. Let's look at this in our practical example. As we did before, find your target and decide which feature you will look at. Place the binocular reticle on the base of where you think the man would be standing. Count your mill dots and run the formula. In this example, 1800 divided by 10 equals 180 meters. Let us confirm accuracy with our cheat tool. Again, spot on. One meter error is negligible. But remember, the closer we are to the target, the easier this is. The further our targets are from us, the harder this will become. Lastly, I want to share a few considerations and tips. Firstly, always consider the stance of the man. If he is prone, do not use his prone stance as your mill reference. Just measure from his belly on the floor up to where you imagine it would be should the man be standing up. Similar rules apply to a crouching or even weapon at the ready man, as his head will drop at least 0.5 to 1 mill dot depending on the range. Where possible, divide your single mills into half mills as well. As shown in the example before, half a mill will be the difference of being 2 meter out of range versus being 10 meters out of range. A crucial few meters for a long range marksman shot. That means the difference between a center mass kill or a wounded leg. Targets will move around more often than not. If time allows for it, identify their patrol route. Find a landmark like a tree or rock, dustbin or lamppost, and as he passes it, quickly note his height relative to the static object. Let him now continue on his merry way while you quickly plot the mill dots and make a few calculations. When he passes that point once more, you should have a fairly accurate ranged shot. So, that is it. Hope you have learned that cheat tools like range finders are for boys and PUBG players. Again. The only way you will be a master at ranging with binoculars is to practice, practice, practice. We hope to see you on the 39 Battalion Training Server soon. Cheers.